Hi, one of the basic application of resistors, both in parallel and in series, is the potentiometer. The potentiometer is actually a variable resistor that has three LED. That is, if I have a resistor this way, normally we're used to having resistors with two LEDs, but this time around, the potentiometer has a third LED, a third leg, this way. Let's tag this A and this other side B, and I'll tag this S. Now, it's variable because I can change the position. We can vary the position of the third leg. Now, the, the potentiometer is such that the two extreme legs connect directly to the source, while the third leg picks, taps from the middle of the potentiometer and, the, and one of its legs to connect to the load. It's actually a very good application of resistors in parallel and in, in series. Now let's see its calculations. If I have a potentiometer this way and I have a third leg this way, we've tagged this side A, this is B, and here is S. Remember we said this leg can vary. If the total resistance of this potentiometer is RAB, that is the total resistance from here to, from A to B. It's the same thing as the resistance from A to S plus the resistance from A, from S to B. That means in place of my resistance, my potentiometer this way, A, B, and you have it tapped at the middle of S, I can easily represent it as resistance a, S, connected in series with resistance S, B. That's this R, S, B. Now, it's the same thing as R, A, B from this end. Now, let's see an example that further explains it better. Now, example says that we should calculate the voltage drop across this resistor 60 ohms in the circuit shown in the figure below when the slider is at half point halfway point of resistor 200 ohms potentiometer oh i drew this as 100 ohms i was thinking it's 100 ohms that's 200 ohms now let's redraw this let's just redraw this if i'm to redraw this potentiometer i'll redraw it this way it now looks like now so that now so that this is v my source now i'm going to split this because the question says it's halfway so the 200 ohms will become 100 ohms and 100 ohms with a 60 ohms in here. Now, if you look at it, you see that this is a typical series and parallel circuit. In case you miss our lesson on parallel and series combination, please do check the description below. And we'll also place it as the end screen. You can just go to the end screen and pick it up from the end screen. Now, look at it here. Uh, if my voltage source, from my voltage source, I will flow in through here. Then I will flow through the 100 ohms. It gets to this junction. It's going to split as I1 and what? I, I2. So that from here, we know that I is equals to I1 plus I, I2. Now, the first thing I want us to look at is the total, the cumulative resistance. Now, the cumulative resistance will come from RT to be equals to the 100 ohms. That is this one. That is this one. And plus here will be the parallel combination here's a parallel combination here this is the first one then it's a parallel combination that will be 100 in parallel with 60 ohms so that my 100 in parallel with 60 ohms the 100 in parallel with 60 ohms will come from 60 times 100 over 60 plus 100 now that will be equals to 6,000 over 160. Now for my calculator, so that for my calculator, the 100 in parallel with 60 will be the same thing as 37.5. Now my effective resistance, that's the cumulative resistance, will be the same thing as 100 plus 37.5, which is equal to 1. 37.5 ohms. 
Now, if everything is 137.5 ohms, then my I will be the same thing as V over R, which is equals to I now will be equals to the I is equals to let's see, let's see the voltage. Okay, 30 volts. So that my voltage is 30 volts. So that will be I is equals to 30 volts over 137.5, which is equals to 0 0.218. Two amps. Now, if the current is zero point two one eight two amps, obviously the resistance we're interested in the voltage drop across sixty ohms. That will be the voltage drop across this combination. Sorry, that will be the voltage drop. That will be the voltage drop across this this combination across this combination so that i can easily know that the voltage drop across the 60 ohm is the same voltage drop across this combination it's a parallel parallel circuit now so that the voltage drop across that combination will come from v across that to come from 37.5 times 0 0.282 as equals to 8.182 volts. With this, help you understand how to work with a potentiometer. In our next lesson, we'll start seeing the capacitor and capacitance. Thank you for staying with us. And if you've not subscribed to our channel, please do not hesitate to hit the subscribe button. That way, you'll be sure to receive our lesson and we'll create our next lesson. Thank you and see you in the next class.